Bullets. Yeah, some bullets. We want our ship to be able to fire bullets. Okay, so let's find some sprites for bullets. And we'll use, I don't know, these here. So we'll drag those in there. And we have a little blue bullet. So let's scale that a bit. Let's see, the others we scaled by three, so let's go ahead and scale this by three as well. Okay, there's a bullet. And maybe we scale it by four that way. Yeah, what the heck? I don't know. So that's a bullet. And we're going to want to have a rigid body 2D on that because it's going to need to move. And what else are we going to need? We're going to need a collider on there. Uh -huh. We're just going to put, oh, I don't know. I guess a box collider makes sense. See what it looks? Yep, that looks pretty good. And let's give it a better name than bullet sprite sheet. So we'll call it player bullet. Okay. So this is a player bullet. Now, when the bullet is instantiated, we're just going to fire in whatever direction it's instantiated in. Okay, so let's see. Hmm, do we really want to create its own function? I don't know. Maybe just as a part of instantiation, we'll add the force to it and we'll just fire it off because we have to rotate it anyway. So let's do that. We'll say that the player fires bullets. So, all right, that'll be the rest. That's the prefab. We'll do that. So, assets, check the player bullet, make a prefab out of it. Delete this one. And so we'll go into the player script and say, uh, if, it's going to be input get key, so we'll just grab that. If input get key and we'll use spacebar. Base. Now this one, we're not just going to use get key. We're going to use get key down because I don't want it to fire infinitely. I just wanted to fire, and then if I fire, we need to fire again. I'm going to fire again. So it's every time I press the key down. All right. So get key down. I want to have fire a bullet. Let me straighten that out. Okay. So I'm going to say instantiate. And we'll call it bullet prefab, which I don't have yet. And let's so let's call it up here. Bullet prefab. There, now we have one. And we're gonna instantiate it where? We're gonna instantiate it right where the bullet is, right where the player is. Transform dot position. Okay. And we have to also give it a rotation, which normally we just say quaternion. Identity. Now that would just create it at the position with no rotation. But maybe instead we want to match the rotation of the player. So why don't we say transform dot rotation. Yeah, that makes much more sense. So now the new prefab is going to be at the rotation and the position of the ship. And let's give it a force. So we'll say, well, you know, in order to give it a force, we're gonna have to make sure we keep track of it. So we'll say game object bullet. Oops. Game object bullet. 
bullet equals that. And then we're going to say bullet dot get component rigid body 2D. Add force transform that up. Well, actually, we'll say bullet transform that up. Up. And we will multiply that by 20. All right. So we create a game object, that bullet, and we send it on its way. Let's see that. Let's see what happens there. Okay. I'm hitting the space bar, nothing's happening. Why not? I don't know. Well, first off, <laughs> the player doesn't know about that rich body. So let's tell it, uh, no, that's telling me is that I haven't saved that as usual. Save, player bullet. There, now let's try. Well, somehow the force doesn't look right. Did I add the force to the right thing? I don't think I'm still uploading. Uh, add force bullet dot get component bullet dot transform up twenty. Yeah, it looks right. Does the bullet have some mass to it? Does the bullet have a rigid body? Uh, it has a rigid body, it has some mass. There's no linear drag. Gravity shouldn't matter to it. Let's up the uh, force a bit. Did I wrap it? Well, it seems to have a little bit of force, but still not much. I'm kind of surprised by that. Let's give it a whole lot just to see. Sure. I'll probably realize what it is in a second. Let's do this. Let's uh, make the mass very small. So if the mass is very small and we add a lot of force to it, it should really fly off now. Let's see. <laughs> I wonder if I'm creating them so fast that they're, where are they? They're probably just like in some crazy place now. So, all right, that's something to be aware of. That the, obviously the force and, and the mass work together. And if you overdo one, so let's uh, probably just use that now. Such a small mass. Yeah. Still really, really fast. Okay, so we can crank that even smaller, or we can up the mass a bit. <laughs> okay, player bullet. Oh, we'll make the mass uh, 0.1. How about that? Nope, not enough. How about 
0.01. Oops. Oh, oh, one. Yeah, that's a good mass. Now you'll notice some weird behavior because the rigid body 2D of the bullet and the rigid body 2D of duty, did I say duty? The 2D of the player are interacting with one another. And that's why it kind of does that weird spin at the beginning. So how I'm gonna deal with that is I'm going to create some layers. So I'm going to create a separate layer for the player, the enemy, the asteroids, the player's bullets, and the enemy's bullets. Now, what I'm going to do with that is so, for instance, the player bullet, I'm going to put that on the player bullets layer. And here in project settings, I'm going to say that player bullets do not interact with the player. Okay, so I'll turn that off and player does not interact with player and player bullets. And player bullets don't bounce off one another, so player bullets can hit enemy bullets. Enemy bullets can hit enemy bullets. Oh, okay, we'll make enemy bullets not hit enemy bullets. Um, yeah, we'll have bullets hitting each other all over the place. That'd be interesting. Okay, so now when bullets happen... Hello. Okay, they don't have much effect on the ship there, um, which is as they should. So what did I change? Let's see. Uh, oh, I know what I didn't do, is I didn't put the player on the player plane, the player uh, layer. So let's do that, player, player layer. There we go. So now that interaction will be correct. There we go. So you can see the bullets fire, but they just bounce off things. And also I creating, I'm creating infinite bullets, which isn't great either. So let's do a couple of things. Let's say in the case of bullets, every time you shoot a bullet, a bullet, the bullet should destroy itself in no more than one second. So we're going to say, yeah, destroy bullet in 1.5 seconds. Okay, save that. And now you'll see that as we fire bullets, After 1.5 seconds, they will disappear. Which actually is even longer than we'd really need to. Maybe just one second. So a bullet will only last a second now. See how I'm kind of tune in this here. Okay, so bullets fire and nothing happens. <laughs> so what should happen is that the bullet hitting the enemy. So let's say, let's go to the enemy script and say, now we have void on collision enter 2D and say, let's see, we want to only fire, we only collide with uh, enemy bullets. So 
Let's see, we don't have to have tags. We just say, okay, anything that it's allowed to interact with. Uh, well, player bullet, open prefab. We're gonna create a tag for that anyway. Add tag. And we will add a tag called player bullet. Okay, and the player bullet will be tagged with player bullet. And in our code, we will say if collision game object dot tag equals player bullet. Then what are we gonna do? We're going to destroy this, destroy ourselves. Destroy, we'll destroy the bullet. Yeah. And we will also destroy our game object. So, the enemy will destroy itself. Let's see that. That sounds cool. There, gone. Awesome. I bet we can do the same for the asteroids. So we'll just copy this bit. And go into asteroid functions. And well, it would have been better to copy that whole thing. There. So now. We can destroy everything. All right. Nice. Now, other, well, just as just a uh, subtle point here, but you see, kind of the bullets come. They come over the top of the ship. I don't like that. I want the player's bullets to happen beneath it. So I'm going to make it on negative one. That layer, order in layer. All right. So now. The player's ship will be on top of the bullets. Okay. So that's the basic bullet stuff. And I think I'm going to leave that for this video. And next we're going to get into starting to really have it, you know, keeping track. We're going to do a little bit more advanced stuff with the bullets there. Get that to do the right things. All right. Till next time.